All right, President Trump's State of the Union address remains on hold as negotiations to end the partial government shutdown continue. Senate lawmakers are holding key votes today to try to come up with a solution. Nicole Killian has the latest from Capitol Hill. Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley. Senate lawmakers voted on a Republican plan to end the government shutdown, including $5.7 billion for President Trump's border wall. Denying the president one-tenth of one percent for spending on needed border security is not worth hurting this many people. The motion is not agreed to. The measure failed, then the chamber blocked a continuing resolution favored by Democrats that did not include funding for the wall. Our proposal allows us to open up the government and then, then after government's open, settle our differences over border security. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi now says she's willing to meet face to face with President Trump to try to break the impasse. The comments came just hours after Mr. Trump agreed to delay his State of the Union address at the Speaker's request. It's the President of the United States. We, we meet with him any time he wants to meet, and I've never discouraged anybody from meeting with the president. Thursday, the president's commerce secretary faced criticism for questioning why furloughed workers need food banks on CNBC. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why. The 30 days of pay that some people will be out, there's no real reason why they shouldn't be able to get a loan against it. 800,000 federal workers are set to miss a second paycheck Friday on day 35 of the partial government shutdown. The president cannot give a speech to a joint session of Congress unless the House and Senate pass a resolution setting the date and time.